Hi everybody and welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. On my way up to the Aviva Stadium to watch Ireland take on Azerbaijan. So we didn't really get to do much of a preview for this one, so I'm just going to give a really quick one now. Um, Azerbaijan are known to not really score at many goals, but also known to not really concede many goals. Um, they set up with three in the back and three in midfield in the last few games and they've kind of rotated in between them. No real key players to look at that you'd look at on paper and be too worried about. I would expect and hope we get a win today. I, I do definitely think we will. And I think the performance we put in against Portugal should, you know, really put something ahead now for tonight going into this game, actually set the players up and go out and get a win. And hopefully they will get a win. It'll be Stephen Kenny's first um, game with fans in the Aviva Stadium, back him as an Ireland manager. Robinson is back in the team, and um, we'd be interested to see if he comes on or plays. Alan Brown is back too, he's been brought in, and Liam Scales has been brought in. Obviously, Darrow O'Shea and Shane Long are absentees for this one today. Going forward, um, I would probably sit up pretty much the same with three centre backs, two attacking wing backs three in midfield and two strikers. I thought that worked very well against Portugal. Obviously different level of opposition tonight, but um, I think every single player you know, will be hard, feel hard done by being left out. Maybe question marks over Hendrick and Connolly would be the only ones for me that I potentially leave out tonight. Team tonight would be, I think Bazunu should be in goals tonight. If there was a friendly, or, or if this was a friendly, I probably would have give Callagher and Talbot a half each. But it's, you know, it's a qualifier, it's a very important match, and we should be going out to win any game as much as we can. But the only goals for me, my three centre backs would be Amabel Medele, Duffy, and Egan. Um, I thought them three were rock solid against Portugal. I thought they were very, very good. Obviously, Egan got the goal. Amabel Medele came on and did very, very well. You know, he stepped up. Didn't really get much game time for Norwich this season. You know, played a bit last season, but you know, he looked like a season pro the other night. I thought it was very good. He deserves to be in the team. The wing backs now, you know, if you're going to play this kind of a system, Stephen Kenny might be playing this system because if you're looking at Serbia, he might go with four at the back. But if he goes with three at the back and has two wingers, you're looking at the likes of Coleman, Doherty, Manning, and McLean on the wings. What's so the combination of them? Um, I would go with my best team possible because I think we need to get a win and I think if we're going to get a win against either Portugal, Serbia or Azerbaijan it's most likely to be Azerbaijan so I'd be going with Cohen and Doherty on the wings the same as it was the other night I think it should be capable of playing tonight and um, it should be fresh enough to play in my opinion um, Coleman maybe, you know he's 32, he's played a lot of games he might not even last a full game but I'd be going with them two on the wings myself tonight Moving into centre midfield um, the only player I'd leave out would be Hendrick and I'd bring in Hoor in. Um, yeah, we all know what we can do as a dead ball specialist and you know we look dangerous in set pieces and he could be key to putting in a few balls, putting in the corners, putting in free kicks, taking free kicks. Very capable of doing it. We don't really have any other set piece takers in the team or not this team that I'm going to line up so I would definitely have Hoor in the team. I think there's a lot more to come for him. I do think he's a very good player on his day. He's coming off the back of having a very good season with Swansea last season and he's since got a low move to Sheffield United. So hopefully that means he'll stop playing more games this season and be a lot better and fresher and sharper in October. But focusing on tonight's game, I'll be having Hurricane and McGrath in midfield beside Cullen. Um, I thought McGrath did very, very well as well and I thought Cullen, you know, I thought he had a very good game too. He played a lot of balls forward, he made play happen, he wasn't afraid to go and turn and find a pass. Um, Hendrick obviously kept the ball away. Sorry, he didn't get the ball away. He was trying to recover from a misplaced pass from the goalkeeper and get away with a penalty. Question marks over if it was a penalty. Probably is one of the more experienced players, but Hendrick doesn't cut it for me. And I think I'll be going away for this one for them reasons that I stated. Looking at the strikers then up front, um, I wouldn't go Connolly tonight. Um, I think Kenny's a big fan of Connolly. Um, it's nothing wrong with him as a player, it's just he just doesn't look sharp. He didn't really take his chances when he was given them and if you're a player at this level you need to be able to take your chances when they come. You can't be looking for three or four chances to stop one away. You need you get the chance you need to bury, you need to get that goal and he doesn't seem to be that type of player just yet. Um he's very raw, he does need a low move, he needs to start playing more games I think, but focusing solely on tonight I'll be having Troy Powers 
going to be playing him up front alongside Robinson if Robinson is available and if he is in the team if he's in the squad and um, he is in the squad but if he is available to play tonight I'd be having him beside Parrott. Parrott's in League 1 MVK Dons he's scoring goals he scored a, lot, a few goals last time he for Ireland I think as well so that was great to see for him he's only 19 very inexperienced a young player a raw definitely one for the future um, don't we have many other options I'd be going with him he's in form he's confident and I think him beside Robinson would be a very good pair and um, Robinson has scored a few goals to West Brom this season in the championship um, he's played most games for them if not every game he's starting you know he's actually one of a few of these players that is starting most games at club level and he has that experience and he's at a good age now to be stepping up and be one of our main players. That would be the team I'd be going with tonight. Kick off tonight is at 5 pm. Um it actually isn't a sellout which is unfortunate. I thought it would be the first game back, you know, in like nearly two years and it's not a sellout. It's disappointing to see. Especially if being at a good time at five o'clock on a Saturday. That would suit a lot of people. So I'm very disappointed to see that it's not actually a sellout. Um, I don't care if you don't like the manager or if you think the team's playing bad at the minute or whatever. You support the team, you support Ireland, you get behind the team in the good and the bad. And there's no point in rocking up to France in 2024 or wherever if when we qualify and looking for tickets and posts and live how great we are when you haven't been here to the bad spells too. And there's an awful lot of people doing that and turning on a Stephen Kenny and turning on the players. But it's an extremely young crop of players, inexperienced ones, and they're trying to play a different way. And a lot of things have gone against Stephen Kenny and the team. So. But there is going to be people watching this tomorrow going tonight for them reasons and it's unfortunate to see it happens everywhere it happens at club level a lot of people have done over the years but they'll be the very ones then begging for tickets online when Ireland starts qualifying for places again anyway that's the topic for another day uh, on the way to Aviva up nice and early um, we can't wait to get there um, sitting in the block 114 right behind the goals um, so I'm really looking forward to this one